The DRDO has successfully carried out the final trial of the NAG anti-tank guided missile with live payload from a Namico carrier, and according to senior government officials, the 7 km range third generation indigenous anti-tank system with imaging infrared seeker is now fully ready to be inducted into the Indian Army, as it has completed 10 user trials successfully, and the Indian Army will no longer have to import more spike systems from Israel. Bharat Dynamics Limited will soon start the production of the first batch of 300 NAG missiles, while the Ordnance Factory will start production of 25 Namico carriers that are based on BMP-2 vehicles with additional wheels, which is equipped with various electro-optical systems including a thermal imager and a laser range finder for target acquisition, and it will carry a total of 12 NAG systems, with 8 in ready-to-fire mode and 4 in storage. The NAG trial comes after last week's successful test of the 20 km range helicopter launched Saint Anti Tank missile from MI 35 helicopter. The Indian Navy has inducted the INS Cavalry into service, which is the last of four indigenously built anti submarine stealth corvettes under Project 28. The corvette has more than 90% indigenous content, and it has been commissioned in full combat ready status, as the ship has completed sea trials of all the onboard systems. The Indian Navy has issued a request for proposal for buying 150 new short range surface to air missile systems to replace the current Israeli Barak 1 air defense systems on these four anti submarine corvettes, and the European defense major MBDA is seen as the front runner in the competition, which has offered its sea sector with transfer of technology through a joint venture with Larsen and Tubro. The CEO of the Ukrainian aircraft and helicopter engine manufacturing company Motorsich has accused Russia of initiating a fake media propaganda to eliminate the company's chances of winning the Indian Air Force's Mi-17 helicopter engine overhaul contract. It was recently reported that Motorsich's majority stakes were owned by a Chinese company, which raised concerns in the Indian defense establishment. However, the Ukrainian company has written a letter to the Indian Ministry of Defense, informing that it had taken loan from a Chinese firm in 2016, which gives them a 5% partnership in Motor Sich, and the Chinese firm has no access to advanced defense technology. He also said, that it would be profitable for the Russian side to have no competitors in the tender for engine overhaul, which would allow Russian companies to repair the engines of Indian Air Force's Mi-17 helicopters at increased prices. India has issued an OTAM warning for a period from 30th October to 31st October for a range of 590 km, for a joint test conducted by the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. Indian military watchers are hoping that it might be the test of scalp cruise system from Rafale fighter jet, and naval BrahMos extended variant from a frontline destroyer. The Indian Army chief has said, that the proposed creation of joint theater commands would take a few years, as a number of mid-course corrections might be required along the way. Specific units of the Army Navy and the Air Force will be placed under a theater commander who can be an officer from any of the three services, which will depend on the function assigned to that command. The Indian Space Research Organization and the National Space Research and Development Agency of Nigeria have signed a Memorandum of Understanding on the cooperation in the exploration and uses of outer space for peaceful purposes. It will lead to setting up of a joint working group that will draw members from both space agencies, who will work out the plan of action including the time frame and the means of implementation.